What's up, y'all? It's your boy Mike G. Uh, Hard and Purpose for real. I haven't posted in a while, and uh, I'm gonna post uh, more often soon here because I think it's necessary to build up some type of body of work within, as far as my you know goals and uh, you know dreams are concerned regarding uh, health, uh, fitness, wealth, art, writing. Uh, so on and so forth um, and as always heart and purpose is accomplishing goals overcoming obstacles and encouraging others uh, the Thanksgiving season has passed and now we're moving into the um, Christmas season which has its own implications uh, leading up to New Year's and uh, one concept I'm trying to grasp and not only grasp but uh, stabilize is starting now starting right now and uh, maintaining whatever it is you want to do as a resolution now and forevermore. You know, there's no need for December 31st, no need for January 1st. Oh, there is something interesting to that though. Um, coming up here um, in a couple of years is going to be February 22nd, uh, 2022. Those are all twos. Second month the uh, 22nd uh, day and the uh, 22nd uh, year of the new millennium so on and so forth you know uh, uh, thereabouts I'm sure I'm gonna be so fact-checked and um, uh, you know, dealt with uh, you know certain issues of what I've said and uh, so on and so forth uh, as this uh, you know video vlog advances and uh, brings into existence other aspects of it you know, I, I really need to fix my uh, game when it comes to that. And uh, you know, when it comes to, you know, stab myself in that area, in that area. Like, for instance, this camera. You know, uh, I'm trying to find some way that rearview mirror out the way you know but keeps me in the shot and that's what I get for you know filming these videos in my car I mean some people clown some youtubers clown big time uh, when it comes to you know that and the landscape I got this big giant steering wheel in the way a lot of my videos just feature me running my mouth for 10 minutes and the only reason that is is because uh, I was told uh, a while back that anything uh, 10 minutes and over gets uh, ads and things like that and I, I haven't really nailed down other aspects of my life that I want to get on tape or I want to get on YouTube I want to get on video uh, I've, I've filmed a couple of things I've eaten uh, you know what I eat uh, so on and so forth uh, in a minute I'm gonna post uh, my artwork and my drawing and uh, you know, bring out what's in here you know um, you know, I'm starting to realize that commissions where I draw or create what somebody else is thinking or what my, somebody else thinks something should look like is f fraught with, you know, issues that I haven't mastered that I'm going to continue to master, such as, you know, something you draw and create for somebody, um, you know, I don't know, maybe an arm, uh, sticking out. You know like like this you know as opposed to being right here or like this or whatever you know all the little nuances of what somebody has in their mind of what they envision an image to look like um, it's too subtle and nuanced for me right now which the part I'm gonna do on my end is you know create you know uh, better content that inspires people and sell that and create that you know, and make some type of sustainable living from that as well as garner support uh, you know, I've been garnering support recently from different people you know in my life um, on Facebook and so on so forth social media and I'm starting now when I'm not ready when I'm not ready 
when I'm learning to create better content, flaws and all. Because otherwise nothing's going to get started. Nothing's going to get started, nothing's going to get created uh, unless you bring into existence what you already have. And lots of it. Lots of it. It's like clay. If you have clay, you know, you put it on the uh, potter's wheel. You got to actually whittle it down to what you want it to be. A vase, a bowl, a uh, sculpture, you know, so on and so forth. You know, so there's got to be a lot of video in order for that to happen. You know, and somebody also uh, said, you know, post a video every day and build off of that your, you know, your body of work. You know, go to the gym every day with your body of work, you know, to sculpt your body of work. You know, because, I mean, I'll tell you right now. I mean, <sighs> my arm game was popping. You know, my arm game was popping. I got some arm game up in here. You know, you know, and that was hard to earn. I'm at 195 right now, and I want abs for Christmas. I want abs and a small waist, or at least, you know, flat stomach. That's totally attainable with the right amount of discipline and, uh, you know, dedication. So let's, you know, um, continue to drive my creative endeavors, uh, which I encourage you to do, to do the same. Now I gotta realize I'm talking to an audience. I got, you know, one subscriber right now. You know, and I thank that subscriber. I met her, and she's a very nice young lady. Um, good dancer too. Uh, at a uh, class reunion. So, but then I also have a friend of mine, you know, Juju Sparklebean, that's you know just exponentially increasing, you know, uh, subscribers. Um, and also, you know, from uh, where I'm from. Uh, Bobby Bluford, you know, another one. Um, you know, uh, Charlie Adams, Will Kaysen, you know, a lot of local people that I've met. And when I say local, it means people within my sphere of circle, you know, either from where I'm, I'm from or where I live, you know, or where I went to school at, you know. So, um, there's, nothing, there's nothing to say that I can't do the same, and I'm not going to do the same. I'm just feeling my way around this uh, landscape as far as, uh, you know, uh, being a YouTuber is concerned, and, you know, Instagram, Facebook, uh, social media. So, you know, and as an artist, um, I'm going to continue to improve and uh, post my work and my process. I, I got to do it. Got to do it. Regardless of the criticism, you know, and regardless of the learning that I still have to do, um, it just has to be done. It has to continue to be done uh, with heart and purpose, you know. That's what's got me to where I am, to, you know, today, you know, visually at least, you know, the clean goatee, you know what I'm saying? Um, the party muscles popping. You know, so on and so forth. And, you know, there's room for the improvement there. You know, uh, my vegan purpose, you know, trying to sustain that. Not just a plant based diet with no animal products, but you know, the rights of animals. You know, because I've been conditioned to uh, participate in the cruelty of animals by consuming them. As well as desensitized from their pain and suffering. No more. No more. Like I used to tell people, nobody has to die to get on my plate. Or for me to get something to drink. Or something to eat. Nobody has to die. Yeah. That said, I still have, you know... Uh, aspects of my conditioning as a human being to uh, fight against um, as far as you know certain meals as far as, as far as certain actions and attitudes toward other people that don't see the obvious uh, contrast between being a plant-based 
sentient being, plant-based consuming sentient being pretending to be a carnivore or an omnivore and the problems that they have and as a result, problems that I have you know, problems that I have so, you know and I've hit animals with my car you know and that's just like, man to try and be, uh, you know cruelty free you know, in the face of that kind of stuff you know, it's difficult. Um, not to mention the the world we live in, or the country we live in, I should say, United States of America, uh, in 2018. Uh, with the administration that we're in now. And the color of my skin. The content of my character. You know, not to mention, you know, my background that's led 